Hey, hey, hey. Hello, everybody. Here, here we are. Monday, Monday. Oh, my gosh. 28th of February. Today is my third year anniversary in on passive. Can you believe that? Can you believe it? I believe it. Anyway, before I get started and saying hellos to everyone, I appreciate everybody that's here. This is my granddaughter, Alexis. Oh, uh, looks just like Pop Pop. She doesn't like when I say that. I can't figure out why. Anyway, uh, let me read some names off, give some shout outs, because I'm only as good as my friends here. Okay, here we go. M. Callie's in the house. Hello. Welcome. Ruth Pace, powerhouse woman. Linda Chapetta is always here. Scotty Callie, thank you for your support. Cartrick Chandra SIL, welcome. Howard Queller, good morning, Marty. I hope your weekend was healthy and safe for you and your family. Yes, yes, it was. Yesterday, I didn't eat very good, but it was good. My wife decided to have a spud party. Yes, you're thinking, what the heck is that? She developed, invented it. Anyway, you get a big potato, right? A big one, like the size of Chris's head. You carve it out, and then she has all any kind of way you want to make it: Mexican, chili, uh, what's sour the other? Cream and chives. Yeah, sour cream and chives. Broccoli. Broccoli. Bacon, bacon bits. Bacon bits. Look at her. She's cheddar all, cheese. Cheddar cheese. That's yeah. See that now? Now you know why I'm. Now you know why I'm big boned. Okay. Anyway, let me keep going. Howard Queller, how you doing? Good morning to you too. VJ Kumar is in the house. Welcome. Greg Graysner, babyface grandma, party time. Yes. Marty party. There's no party without Marty. Hey, Tim Dillon, what's up? Hey, 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 hey. AKA Captain Kirk. Chandran Sheet, welcome. Pat Parent, hello, Pat. Great job you're doing. I see you're doing lives. That's nice. You're getting more comfortable. That's the way it is. You just got to do it. You'll, you'll be so surprised. As you, the more you do it, the better you feel. The better you feel, boom. David Angelic, the fisherman. Headed to Indiana. Oh, cool, Dave. Dave Switzer's in the house. Dave, what's up? Listra, one of the main women of Unpassive. She said, hi, Dawn. Hi. That's right. It's cold, but we're Unpassive. Who cares? Willow. Willow, the knowledge queen, is in the house. Hello, Willow. Glad you can make it. Vanessa D. Susan Bop is here. Miss Pernama Monbell, welcome. Bud Hawkins is in the house. Hello, Bud. Glad you could make it. Abilo Barris, Grams of Trade. Morning, sunshine, blessings to all. You're darn right. Barbara Ann Johnson, thank you for being here. You're always here, and I appreciate it. John Barella, the actor, the singer. The chat defender. <laughs> Marie Pendy, how you doing? Natalie Bolinsky, welcome. Glad you can make it. David Rolowski, welcome, welcome. He says, hello, Dawn. Willow, not going to get my new computer till Thursday or Friday. Oh, well, at least it's coming. Liam, make dreams come true. Hey, how you doing? Tom Taylor's in the house. Hello, Tom. I haven't seen you for a while. Harkety Trap Uara. I didn't say any of that right, but it sounded good on my end. Uh, John, hey, Marty, just caught red now. I'm catching you. Hopefully, I'll catch Chris. Yep, Chris is usually right after. Helen D. La Best Tide. Welcome. Hugh Pinder, Hugh Pinder. I don't think he pronounced the B, but if you don't, I'm sorry. 
Park Anti Tripura. Whoa. William, easy to say, Marshmallow DeLome is in the house. Uh, Helen, yep, I said hello to Helen. Marge, welcome. Roy McAfee, McApill, Kim Stewart, Marie Pendy. Uh, Donna Hamlin, Aaron Frost. Hello, Aaron. She's a work, working maniac, too. Kim Mills, thank you. Ivana Polersova. Whoa, sorry. Source frequency, we know who that is. Trevor Peters is in the house. Lois White, thank you for being here. Coach Nate Harris. And the one and only DJ Harvey Green is in the house. Bill, the extraordinaire man of men, director, movie maker, you, you name it, he does it. Behind the scenes, Captain Eclipse, Bill. Spielberg must. Hope that's long enough, Bill. Don't try to write that down. Raphael Germain from Team Bahamas. Great team. I believe you guys got a meeting tonight. I will try to pull up a chair and come see you guys. Doug Barber's in the house. Joseph Duffett, welcome. Uh, that's Scott. Like, uh, hello, hello. Big John Solomon White. From the barbershop to the barbershop people, what's happening? Keep it high and tight. Yes, Big John. Nick Munty, John keeps saying your S's, man. Don't forget. Elsie Patch. I don't know about this presentation Robert did with Bill, but I'm going to have to see it. Send it to me, Bill, or something. Rose Najab, welcome. Patrick McGuigan, there he is. Yeah, I don't know. Red, Red killed it today. Mamadou Jolo, jo, Jolua, welcome. Vera Waluga, welcome. Glad you can make it. Preston Cooper. Uh, Greg Lakin is in the house. Madeline Welsh, Theo Arpendis is here. He's always here. Thank you. Stefan Sorensen, welcome. Jarmo is in the house. Juanita Ali, welcome with Greece. Uh, Chris Johnson, hey, 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 is in the house. Don't forget to go see Chris after this. He's got plenty of open chairs to visit him. It's like a freaking ghost town. I'm just kidding, Chris. I shouldn't treat you like that. Bad enough I beat you in pool all the time. Now I'm going to treat you bad. It's not right. It's just not right. Brett Graham. <clears throat> <clears throat> Harry Brett Schneider's in the house. Robert Tantulo. I said hello. Neighbor of mine. Not too far away. Tom's River. Darren Brown. Joseph Swinner's been here forever. I appreciate it. Sharon Swabby, welcome. Dar Darius Edwards, Darius, one of the powerhouse twins. Hello, buddy. Hope both you and your brother are doing well. I hope so. Uh, shut up, Chris. Dale Cruz. Sayo. Kawhi, no, sorry, James Black's in the house. Yep, Domination, a very good team. If you get a chance, go on there. They have a, uh, they do it on on the phone. It's very good. Chris Johnson, what up, Harry? Oh, okay. Uh, Mali Lengo. Uh oh, I'm getting unstable. Connection. Great. Pam Turner, Greg Duda, 
Mark Bolivier. Tanya on passive, thanks for everything you do. Without Tanya on passive, they should be in trouble. One of the tech guys, Oliver. Oliver, I got a question, Ponte. <laughs> he drives me crazy. Anyway, the tech guys, newsflash, the tech guys, and I'm not talking about Hyderabad, talking about the tech guys, founder tech guys, are going to start doing webinars. Yes, you heard me right. So keep a lookout for that. And Long has been with us very long, and I appreciate it for sure. Uh-oh, it just jumped. I'm going to go to the bottom. It's not my birthday. Oh. Patrick, uh, happy birthday, Chris Johnson. <laughs> uh, love brother Chris. Armand. Hogue. I think it's Hogue. David Graham. Pan Stanvich, Dustin Grove, Karina Lance. Hello, Karina. Karina, follow me everywhere. No, I appreciate it, Karina. I'm just joking with you. Gary in there. Oh, my gosh. I'm not saying that. Yvonne Finn, welcome. Ken Pringle's in the house. Glad you could make it. Collins is here, another one of those IT guys. Yep. I have uh, very good meetings with these guys, very, uh, very smart, and they're fun to be around, actually. Kenneth Donnelly, nice. Uh, Sharon Swabby, welcome. Trishanna Clark, welcome. Pam Turner, Tom Taylor. <coughs> Chris Madden. Samil, Chris, Ma Chris Madan Samili, I don't know. Sorry if I messed it up. Madari Islam Mohan, Yin Yang 44, 444, Internet Quake of Unpassive. You're darn right. Mario's in the house, and I think I said everybody, if I go back to Tim Dillon, the Leprechaun Dillon is in the house, Andy Barthorol. Ken, oh, Ken Pringle's birthday. Ken, happy birthday. Richard Toxin, welcome. Victor Abba, zombie guys here. Out in broad daylight. It's not safe. You're a zombie. It's not safe in the broad daylight. Bridget's in the house. Hello, Bridget. Thank you for being here. Okay, that's all I got for that. Uh, welcome, everybody, and thank you. Now. As you see on my uh, thumbnail, it says leveraging, right? Leveraging is so powerful. I'm just going to give you a couple of examples. On passive is a leveraging monster. It really is. You got to go. You got to open your mind to to as many possibilities as you think on passive can do. And when you're done making that list of one thousand. Go to page two and start making another list because it's it's there's no end. And what I mean about leveraging is making one effort and accomplishing many things. Right? You're leveraging, you're the same force picking up triple the weight, the same force producing ten times the results. On passive is a monster at that, if you really look at it. And every day I keep adding stuff in my head of all the different stuff that, well, you could do this. And then a little bit later, I'm going, well, if I have that and I have this of on passive, I can do this. I can do that. I can do, oh, my God, it's mind-blowing. Absolutely mind-blowing. And I think a lot of people concentrate on the fruit at the top of the tree. And there's a lot of fruit that just fell off. It's still good. It's ripe. And it's for the picking. What I mean by that is, example, you invite someone, many people, to O-Connect. 
and you're having a Zoom, or I mean, you're having a, a webinar about whatever, I don't even care what it is, and you invite people. And they come, they put in their name, their email, just like you do with you know who. The only difference is once they give me their name and all that, they're locked to you for life. Okay, so they don't buy anything yet. Now, though, they're strolling through the mall. You know what people do when they stroll through the mall? They never leave without buying something. Never. I don't care if it's a hot dog. They buy something. Or when you're draw when you're walking to the mall of on passive and you window shop. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Now, in most cases, you know the cost of things. Now we're going to get into value. Wait a minute. I have that. Cost five times more than that. This says AI induced. What the frick? I could try it. I could do a free, uh, I could be a guest and check it out for a little bit. Yeah, boom, click. Leveraging. It's going to go on day and night, night and day, 24 7. It, it blows me away to think about it. You need to think about it. You need to think now <clears throat> how would you leverage? I would get. I would get out there. I did get out there, right? I do lives. I do all, I do it to help people. But it's also in the long run when people go punch in on Google or whatever, when we're introduced to the world, what is unpassive? They're going to see people that have done something in social media. Leveraging. I... When I got online, whether I knew how to market or I didn't, or I'd learned how to market, or the first thing I knew for without a doubt is the power of leveraging. Making the effort, getting triple the results. Why? It goes back to Ash said it on Friday. I have no control over time. So I want to do as much as I can in a given time. If I can get that much in six months, I would rather get it in one. Why? Because of that time. I don't want to waste, I don't want to waste that time. I could be doing something else. And then you you'll even get into the leveraging of the leveraging, okay? Or this, you know, the pulley system. A little bit like this, you pull a little bit and it'll pick up a house. If you hook up the pulleys right. Your kid can pick up a tank through leveraging different angles and pulleys. And you can leverage a massive amount of getting something done from the effort of something very, very small. Now, I know you probably, I hope I'm not confusing you because it's not the work part of it. The leverage is being built by Ash and the tech team. You don't have to build it. You just find out, you, you go in and look and say, how can that, first you got to know what you want. What do you want? You want to build on passive? Okay. Leveraging, what would I do? I would take any money after I fill my pocket and take care of me personally and my family. I would take the extra money and throw it in and buy as much traffic as I can. Why? Leveraging. Because they're doing all the work. You're paying for it, but my God, are you kidding? <clears throat> Contest, give away a reseller, give it away under you. Some contest. You think, oh my God, that's that could be 400 bucks, 300 bucks. What's a position worth in, worth in seven years? You think you're going to make, you think you're going to do that well in the bank? I mean, just think about it, please. Everybody needs to go back and just slow down and look at what <clears throat> what leverage can do for you. Leveraging, compounding, uh, but one effort, one effort accomplishing many or triple the effect. In fact, our names before we were on Passive Nation was Leverage Kings. 
because I was obsessed over leveraging because I knew I always tried to find a way. Well, if I want 10 people, it takes this much time. How can I get 100 in half that time? Then how can I get 1,000 in half that time? Now you say that's not possible. It is. If you let this loose and you say, there's got to be a way to do that, right? I, some people say um, ROI, return on investment. Well, you brought those leads in, they opted in, they didn't do this, they didn't do that. Look at it long term. If I, if I, if I get five opt-ins, one of them pays within a month. Now, the other four, I'm still leveraging. Hey, check this out. What do you think about this? Hey, remember what? Remember when you saw this? You you wanted this? And what about this? You know, this goes real well with, and you do that very nicely, not shove it in their face. Easy, leveraging. Then you find maybe six, seven months down the road, instead of one out of five paying, you have four out of five. So what is your return on investment? Great. But I think too many people focus like now. Plus, I don't think any, I don't know anybody really that knows that number. Yeah, you could, but you're giving it at a given time. My return on investment in two hours is this. Well, are you going somewhere? My return on investment on passive is endless. Until that person says, I want out. Leave me alone. I'll leave them alone. They opt out. You don't pressure anybody. But until that, until that happens where they say I want out, they're in. In my book. They're in until, until they tell me they want out. I just don't know when. And we all do that. And look at that. It's massive. And the point is, I don't care if you're a marketer or not. You know the company's going to build for you. So not let's not get into that silly thing. I don't need people calling me, wait a minute, I have to market? No. Wait a minute, I have to leverage? No. I'm given ideas. You can leverage. People say, I don't know how. Yeah, you leverage all the time. You're always trying to get something more for the same thing. Leverage, it could be money or cost or buying something. You go to somebody who wants $5,000 for a car. You negotiate. You get it for $4,000. Then you walk away and usually you go, I think I could have got that for three. It's not exactly leveraging, but you got to... You got to, whatever you could use tool wise, some of your tools here, but all the tools that I'm passive, you could leverage marketing. How? Use O Tracker. You've directed traffic somewhere or it went somewhere personally, let's say, and you finally look, there's nobody clicking on it in Czech Republic. Newsflash, stop sending the Czech Republic or find out what time it's getting there or whatever. All these little things, by the way, all that's getting done by unpassive. So don't don't worry about it. I don't want to tell anybody anything. And I go, oh my God, I got to do, no, you don't have to do squat. For people that are interested, I want to, I want to teach Spanish. Well, as you get a, gr a group, you're going to own your own little uh, You'll be able to send emails and video mail 30, 40 seconds long. Hey, this is Marty DeGarmo. I'm going to have a webinar about this and this. Uh, you're invited. I'd like to like to invite you. They come. They put their name and their email. They like what you're talking about or they don't. It doesn't matter. It matters. But when, when you're trying, when I'm on there talking, I want them to buy whatever it is or be involved, whatever it is. But I also leverage them to get into Unpassive by giving me their name and email. Right? That's how you do it. 
It's so much fun. It's so much fun. Um, anyway, I've been on here 25 minutes. I wanted to talk a little bit about leverage, but I want to open your mind and see all the, see the possibilities. And if you go back to onpassive.com and click on each one of the products that are there, they explain what they do pretty well. Then what did I do? I look at each product and say, well, that would work great with OCreate. I create a website. I can put that in it. I can add that to it. I can add this to it. I could do a video with a call to action button at the bottom. Learn more. It pops up in the last 30 seconds. Learn more. People see it. Opens up another tab. Has them looking at something else if they're interested. All that's available. All of that we can do. And that will be super fantastic. Super fantastic. But I just want to go over um, that kind of thing. Because that's, that's the stuff that keeps me up. Because I know, and I'm talking to people, stuff you can do without having any skills. If you start opening your mind, go, oh, I could do that. A lot of you are doing lives. Imagine a short video. Hey, come see, come see this on a video. And you can have a recording. They come and see, they put their name and email. They're they're in your down, they're on your team. Oh, yeah, but they didn't pay. Not yet. But it looks like when I'm passive, it's done. You're going to be able to get everything except groceries. And I'm not even sure that's not going to be there someday. Well, Debbie, that was nice of you. You didn't have to do that. Thank you. That's very nice. Um, you see what I mean, though? Start looking at that. Because I want everybody here. I want everybody to do well. It's no joke. If you don't believe I believe that, stop coming here. Because that's more important to me than... I know I'm going to do okay. I I looked at the business very hard day one. Like I said, three years ago today. And within the next few days, I we started building. Myself, Mike, and Dan. So, hello, Helen. Oh, yeah, yeah, Bill. Some guy last night made one of the most powerful statements I've, I've heard in months. You got to put that on a video. And I want a copy of it. Stuff like that, leveraging, say. Anyway, um, by the way, I know you think, well, it's probably too late. But it's not. Um, you can have a YouTube channel. It's not the end of the world. I did it. I'm not a big video guy. I just did it. I want to get a message out. I want to see as many people in on passive as we can. Joseph Lance, how you doing? Peacock's in the house. Julian, if anyone do a live or a video, I will help. See? See Peacock? Always trying to help. Always trying to help. Your voice and pick are not matching up. Yeah. Well, your head doesn't match up with a human, okay? Freaking rhino. No, I got bad connection. I don't know what's wrong. Anyway, everybody, go see uh, go see Chris. He's a lonely, can't shoot, pull, no neck, sad individual. Peter serves in the house. Um, Victor Gumalade is in the house 193 Red still spanked me So in case Chris wants to rub it in Go ahead Anyway He looks like an old Godzilla movie Oh, dubbing? Yeah, I know 
something to do with the connection. Anyway, I got my point across. I want to say goodbye to everybody. Think about leveraging. Think about, go read about the stuff. You don't have to be experts on it. But it, if you're like me and you want to do what you can do quicker, you going, Dawn? Yes. Dawn's going to get Abby. Abigail. Uh-oh, Lexus is going too. Because she don't want to stay here with a pop-pop. Anyway, I hope I gave some kind of uh, value. I know sometimes I talk too fast and say things that maybe not explain very well. But I try to explain it to where people that don't market like I did understand it. That's all. Today at 2 o'clock, we have the round table. I can't wait to go. I'm just kidding. Um, if you are there and you have a question, but you already heard it, for the love of God, please don't ask it again. You guys don't do that, but some people do. Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I think I'm going to call Chris in a few minutes. No, I'm not. I'm not going to do it. Chris, I'm not doing it. It's ignorant to do that while you're on your live. But it's leveraging. You see what I mean? I want to harass Chris every chance I can. Now, I can harass him when he's not on a live. But that's not the same as harassing him while he is on a live. That's leveraging. I want to get him, but I want to get him good. So getting him good... He's trying to fumble around on a live, and I come on. Now, only an immature 62-year-old man would do that. You know by now, I'm 62, and I'm pretty immature. Part of the package. Boom, baby. I will see you all. Chris, I'll see you later. You're old. Yep, I'm old. You're right. You're right. But I'm wise, too. Okay, Chris? Be careful. Be careful. Six hours around. Peter, don't remind me, please. Oh. Oh. Hey, go there because you don't know. Ash might show up. And he's been dropping some heavy artillery in uh, the round table. Definitely. Yeah, John's older, but he's wiser. So, see? I'll see you all, and God bless. Um, I want to boom before you go, or don't come back. I'm just kidding. But that's leveraging. I don't want to just leave. I want to boom on top of it. First one, Kathleen Charles. There we go. Boom. Wow. Jan. Oliva just blew off my screen. Thanks, everybody. I like to have fun, too. Why not? That's leveraging. You can have fun, build a business. I know you're getting tired of me saying that. But anyway, uh, John Barella, everybody, thank you. I mean that. You make my day. I am now going to shut this down. Oh, get ready for the roundtable. Do I look happy? No, I want to help, but some of the questions, oh, they hurt, okay? They hurt. I'll try to shut up my screen this time so somebody doesn't hear me. Oh, and by the way, no matter what Chris tells you, in the meeting the other night when I coughed, he said I passed gas. Didn't happen. He's lying. He talked about it for two hours. Hey, you babes can't, you farted, you fart. Oh, my God, like he's five years old. No, I didn't. And if I did, I would admit it. There he is again. He did, he did. Freaking full-grown man acting like a jackass. Didn't care what I said. I gave him no, I didn't give him any substance that he could take home other than he farted. You know, like, what the freak? Yeah, don't drop the S. Only only Julie's allowed to do that. O 
only joy. Oh, yes, she did. He's an idiot. Anyway, <clears throat> I love Chris. You guys know that. He's still an idiot now. Uh, Bridget, hold on, John. All right, I'm going to let you all go up. I'm let you all go. I don't want to read anymore because Chris is going to say something stupid. All right, I'll see you all tomorrow. Or today at the round table if you want to come in. I'll be the happy guy in the bottom corner. I'm just kidding. Anyway, I'll see y'all. I don't think there's anything else. Monday night. No, I don't know. If there is, look in the back office. Tuesday, we got webinars. No doubt about it. That's for sure. I'll see y'all. God bless.